Hello, I'm Jerry McKee with JD Freelance Media Services, and we're right here at a great place this afternoon. This is the Union County Arts Council. We are here with Todd Baxter, and he's got his art displayed here, and it is some beautiful art. His talent is just way beyond my thoughts, uh, my little stick man anyway. But Todd's going to take us on a tour of some of his artist uh, pictures here. Uh, he's got all different types kinds from sketches to metals, old cars and stuff like that. So I think you're going to enjoy it and encourage you to look at these expeditions down, expeditions down here at, uh, at the Arts Council downtown Union. And uh, Todd, glad you was able to, to meet with me here a little bit and, and tell some things. Thank how, you. How did you get started? Uh, I have just, as far back as I can remember, I've loved to draw. Uh, and as a kid, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Uh, when I got to high school age, uh, getting ready, thinking about college, I looked around and I did not know anybody that made a living from uh, fine art. So I thought, well, the next best thing is graphic design. So I, I went to the Art Institute of Pittsburgh and uh, graduated in 75, and I've been doing graphic design for 40 years. Uh, about eight years ago, I got the bug to start painting. And as soon as I did, I was hooked. And uh, after a few years, I closed my design business so that I could paint full time. Uh, one of the things about the graphic design business is that it's, it's changed so drastically over the years. Uh, when I started, there were no computers. So there was a lot of drawing and handwork, the kind of things that I love doing. And with the computer, which was a wonderful tool that made the job easier, and you could produce a lot more for a lot less uh, work and money, but I didn't love it. I didn't want to sit at a computer all day. So uh, I just kind of fell into drawing and painting, and that's what I'm doing now full time. Well, I noticed that uh, you're on a lot of different committees throughout the state and probably out of state. Uh, I was reading your bio, uh, biography, and uh, and you have a lot, a lot of stuff you you do. And, uh, and I noticed that you've been here a couple times. Yes. And uh, so with that, I'm glad you didn't sit behind the computer because your artwork is way beyond what a computer can produce. Uh, it, you know, you just capture it from your, I think, from your heart and maybe some of these things here that you saw before and you just want to capture it on campus. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to take and let Todd take a uh, look at some of his pictures and let him explain to you. And, you know, uh, he also has classes. We're going to put all his information at the end of this right here, so his contact information and so if you can always get a hold of him on his website and uh, just send him a message and uh, maybe he can uh, set time for me to uh, teach you how to draw like this. It would take too many years for me to learn how like this. But uh, we're going to take his tour and Todd's going to explain a little bit about his pictures. Um, years ago when I first started painting, I went to an event in Wilmington, North Carolina where they brought in some national painters and stuff. And one of the things that I learned from just observing them is that no matter where you're at, you can find a painting. You know, there's something there worth capturing. Um, there was this one guy that did a gorgeous painting of an alleyway that was just garbage cans and trash, but it was a beautiful painting. You can easily spend hours running from location to location trying to find something to paint. Uh, and I have found that you just need to pick a spot and try to find something. Uh, so that's kind of what I do. And, and I paint from life, I paint from photographs, uh, and a combination of life and photographs, and even paint from small studies that I've done. Um, this bear, I went to Cabela's and they have taxidermy there, and I took photography and photographed the bear up in the tree and then kind of made up the background to go with it. Whenever my wife and I travel, we love to take back roads. We try to stay off the freeways, 
and you find a, a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, this was in West Virginia where the uh, New River Gorge is, and you can cross over the New River Gorge on the, on the bridge and it'll take, you know, maybe a minute to a minute and a half. But we decided to take a road and go all the way down, which was at least a two-hour trip. And I got to the bottom of the gorge, drove across this bridge, and just saw so much beautiful scenery. And so I took photos and uh, just did paintings from that. The next painting over is from a trip that I took to uh, France and Provence. Uh, just a group of friends and I uh, flew over there together, rented a house and a car, and just traveled around and painted for two weeks. Uh, first time I ever did that, and it was a blast. Not too long ago, uh, my wife and I made a trip up to Ohio, which is where I'm from, and we just drove the countryside, took photographs of old barns and farms and stuff like that. I, I love painting, you know, the countryside uh, and the old buildings. So these were all painted from, from that trip. I did take photographs and brought them home and then uh, painted from those photographs. I've always loved painting people and uh, my grandkids play in a local uh, t-ball league in Tiga K. So I went up to watch them and took my camera and just took, you know, hundreds of photos of my grandkids and other kids uh, just playing t-ball and did these paintings from that. Uh, now, I do take liberties in my paintings in that uh, when I photographed it, you know, some of these people may not have been here. I take people from other photographs and put them in to end up with a more interesting composition. So I, I do take a lot of liberties. Several years ago, my wife and I uh, did Route 66. We traveled the whole thing, and I've got tons of photographs. We stopped in a little town called Lincoln, Illinois and uh, just saw this building, really was inspired by it, wanted to paint it, so I got a lot of photographs of it. Uh, these people were not there. They were actually in an amusement park somewhere in Ohio, but I keep a large archive of, of photographs, and uh, you know, I just went through and found them, and I just added them to the painting, because I felt it, you know, it needed that human interest to it. Uh, one of my first loves is drawing. Uh, can never get enough of it. It's it's kind of therapy for me, uh, even more so than painting. Uh, and these are this is one of my grandsons, uh, and the one over here is just uh, a child that was playing t-ball. So these were from the same uh, series of photos I, I took of kids playing t-ball. Uh, these are colored pencil. Uh, and to me, it's it's just therapy. It's kind of a tedious, slow process, uh, but very, very relaxing. Well, you've just seen a little pad of his artwork, and you will see more. Come on down to the Eden County Parks Council and take a look, a close up look. My camera doesn't do it justice. And Todd, we're so glad that you invited us to come. We really are privileged to have you come in Union County to display such a wonderful artwork uh, here in our small county. The director here, she uh, uh, books a lot of different events down here with different artists, and we're really privileged to, to have this wonderful facility here in Union. And, and, and thank you for being a part of it. i got a question to ask you. And a typical, like this picture here, as you see, this is uh, the, the Grand Canyon here, and you've been there, right? Yes. Now, how long does it typically take you, I know it depends on the picture itself in detail, how long does it typically take you to do this, to, to paint a picture? Well, there's not a simple, easy answer to that. Uh, for 40 years, I did graphic design, and I had to keep track of every minute, because that's how you... Bill your client by the time you invest in the project. I do not keep track of my time on, on my paintings. Uh, I work on them however long it takes until they're done. 
I also might have three or four paintings going at the same time. If I get to a point where maybe I'm not sure about something, need to think about it for a while or solve some problems, I can do another painting and come back to it. Uh, but as far as hours on, on one like this, this is a 30 by 40. Uh, see, I probably have 25 to 30 hours in a painting like that. Wow. Now, you ever painted and got finished with it and looked at it and thought, why couldn't I add this one? Can you go back and add things to it and be finished? Yes, and I have done that. And that, that is the beauty of oil paint. It is so forgiving. Uh, it's really hard to mess up the paint uh, because you can you can wipe it off, you can scrape off the paint, uh, you can paint over it. Uh, so it's it's like you can try something you don't like it, you repaint it, you adjust it until you get what you want. Well, some people want to ask, well, do you paint portraits? Does someone send you a picture or uh, commission you to? Uh, Yes, I do a lot of portraits and I really love painting people. I enjoy that. One of the challenges when people send you a photograph uh, is getting bad photographs. Uh, lighting is really key to having a good painting. Uh, a lot of times people are just not conscious of that. Uh, they don't think about lighting. Sometimes the, the image is like this. <laughs> so you, you can get some bad stuff. So a lot of times I will paint the light to have somebody model for me. Uh, then I will also take photographs and, and finish them from the photographs. So they, so they don't have to sit there for 25 hours. Correct. Correct. Uh, I know that uh, you live close by in Charlotte area in TDK. Well, we just recently moved to TDK. We've we lived there for 33 years, uh, and our kids are all grown and gone. It's time to downsize, so we bought a smaller place in Rock Hill. And it's actually, it's Rock Hill address that is closer to you. Uh, so we've got a smaller house, larger property, and I'm getting ready to build a studio in the backyard. Wow. Now, do you have a studio still in uh, Charlotte, or do you just display No, it's just my studio out. is in, in my home, and I, I think uh, I did have a gallery in Charlotte, and that gallery closed for the summer because they're, they're relocating, they're looking for a new location, so currently I'm not with the Charlotte gallery. Okay. Well, I'm telling you folks, if you uh, want to see his artwork up close, come in person, it's better, uh, or you can go to his website, I'll have all that information at the end of this program, and give him a call, and uh, most of all, come down here to Union County Arts Council, downtown, and look at some of this art. Now, how long is your uh, art going to be displayed here? It is going to be here till I believe, the 20th. Uh, you might confirm that with uh, okay. the people here, because I've got a couple shows going right now. Okay. Other locations, and I get confused on which one is which. So. Well, I, I understand that, but see, you have plenty of time to get down here and take a look at this wonderful artwork. Todd Baxter, thank you so much for well, thank you. And uh, thank you folks for watching.